On to tonight, a couple of thieves tried to turn off the lights on one family's holiday season, getting away with the Christmas decorations outside their home. And that's not the only place they hit. Our Brandon Walker live in Baytown, where he spoke with the victims of these thefts. Brandon? Hey, Dominique, makes you want to do one of these. You know that reference about the cuddly as a cactus. They don't take too kindly to that line here along Cactus Drive in the Chaparral Village subdivision of Baytown. But the reference does apply, considering what happened to this house, as well as another just around the corner. They were cute. Twas 23 nights before Christmas when all throughout the streets of Baytown. Scooped them up and then they ran that way. The search was on for two Grinches stealing holiday lights all around. Right here we had the 10 candy canes. Mm -hmm. Candace Newland says she and her family were nestled all snug in their beds while outside one by one her candy canes went right over their heads. They're gone. My candy canes are gone. She noticed once daylight struck Sunday morning, no candy canes for they'd been picked. I opened up my garage and walked outside and noticed that something didn't look right. And I'm like, why doesn't it not look right? And then I realized all my candy canes were gone. And and while out on the roof, there arose a camera, recorded the very ordeal. Seems the pair hit yet another house on nearby Cactus Drive too, say police. They took a Santa, and that Santa is, was feeding eight reindeer. Really putting a damper on the holiday feel. We've done it since we've been in this house, which has been 40 years. And uh, I really don't know why somebody has to be mean. Yeah, and Ms. Waltman adds that they just cut it right from the anchor there. There is a description. Police have gone from door to door searching for surveillance video, and they do have some. And they're able to see two people, one in a dark colored hooded sweatshirt, the other in a white colored hooded sweatshirt, a limited description there. And they believe that they took off in a dark colored SUV. If you've got any other video or any other information that could lead to an arrest, you are asked to give Baytown police a call. We are live tonight in Baytown. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thanks.